hi guys you're welcome back to this youtube channel today we'll be learning how to make a pencil skirt with cascades so let's get started now to make this skirt you need to know how to draft um, a basic pencil skirt which i want to assume that we should all know so i have my front and back um, patterns already drafted and I'm laboring my patterns already so I have front and back like so now I'm going to go ahead to separate both patterns so this is the front and this is the back pattern um, I'm going to begin all the drama on the front pattern okay so let me keep my back pattern aside. Now this is the center front, which is going to be cut on fold later. But on the pattern, it doesn't have to be on fold, okay? So let me just explain briefly um, what I've done for beginners. So this is my waistline, okay? Then waist to here is the hip depth. And you can use 8 or 9, 8 on the average anyway. And then here, okay? I measured the quarter of my hip on the hip line and the hem line. But on the hem line, I subtracted one inch to give it a pencil look. Okay. I'm not doing a very quick review anyway. Yeah. So this is the center front for my skirts. And um, of course, um, the other side is my side seam. Very important. Okay. So I've just traced out what I have on the other side of the paper, okay? Now, I have my dart already drawn. Now, from my center front, um, I'm going to come down by some inches. But before I do that, I'm gonna create a spacing. That's about um, one and a half inch, okay? Though I realized that after finishing the tutorial, I realized that the spacing on my own skirt was wider than what's in the original picture. So you might want to make yours probably half an inch if you want to make it exactly that. Okay, so I'm marking nine inches down from my center front. Then on the side seam here, I'm marking seven inches from the waistline. And then the center, this is nine inches. So I'm just going to connect it like this we're trying to create the formation for the cascade so i'm going to connect this so from the center front on my waistline down to this point the first point is nine inches and then we're trying to create something like this okay something like this you can see this is like a rough sketch of what i've done before so um these parts can be slanted, can be curved, okay, but I decided to make my own slanted. The one in the um, picture we're trying to depict is um, curved, so it depends on what you want, but I'm making my slanted, okay? Like I always tell us, you don't have to copy verbatim, just get the technique. Okay, so you can see um, we have formed the first cascade, okay? now we are going to go ahead to form the second one this is the first one you can see it's okay this good so this is the side same and here is the center front you can see okay so this is the second one and of course um the third one we'll still get to that later anyway so this is the first formation now i'm using a different color of marker so that we don't mix the three different um, images together so for the second one from my center front here I'm going to go in by 1.5 inch and then 1.5 inch after my dart leg like so you can see okay then from my waistline I am going to come down by a few inches below my um, hip line so I'll just come down by two or three inches. Okay, I know we can't see that, but I'm still gonna move the pattern paper upwards towards the camera so that we can see it. So I'm connecting 
that point to the three inches below the hip line that I marked. I'll still move the pattern paper upward so we'll be able to see it. So let me just adjust my camera a bit so that we can see. Oh. Then from that point, I'm going to be, you know, making an indentation. Okay, good. I think we can see it now. Yeah. So I came down by three inches from the hip line. Okay. Then I'm just doing a slight indentation about four inches. This is three inches below the hip line like I talked about here. You can see. Okay. Then the indentation. So I'm going to connect this indentation to the 1.5 inch mark away from the center front. Good. So you can see the image for the second um cascade okay that's why i used a different color of marker like i said okay now we are going to create the third one with a different color so all i'll just do now is i'm going to link here these two points together like so okay i know it looks confusing but actually it's actually easy just follow me so this is the first one the green marker the red one is the second one okay and the third one now is going to start from here into the blue line and back to the center front okay i hope that's clear yeah now you may want to make a copy of this of your um skirts the pattern the original pattern of the front skirts okay now i'm placing this on another pattern paper I'm going to be tracing out the cascades one by one. Now, for the first one that I marked with the green marker, you can see that I have used my marker to draw the direc direction with an arrow showing how I'm going to be tracing it on the pattern paper. Okay, so just use your masking tape to hold down the pencil skirt, the front, onto the pattern paper. With my tracing wheel, I'm now going to trace out the first cascade. You can see the direction of my arrows this way that way and back to the center front here and then the waistline so I'll just trace this out and once I trace it out I want to use my green marker to trace you know like good so this is it now while you're tracing out do not forget to trace the dot too now we are going to go ahead to do the second one okay now this is the second one you know that's the first one I mean to say. Then the second one is supposed to be the red marker. And then the blue marker will be the third one. But let's do the blue one first. Okay. So you can see the direction of my arrow. With the blue the blue arrows. So I'm tracing like so. Uh-huh. And that. I want, to, I want to make the red one to be the last one. Obviously it's the smallest. So I'm going to fold my center front like this. I know this is a little bit confusing, but don't worry. You fold the center front like this, and then I'm going to match up. I'm going to match up this, okay, like that. Like this, okay. So, um, I think, yeah, I think we should be able to see it clearly. Now, this is it, okay. So, I'm going to trace it, but I think for better understanding, what I'm going to do right now is I am going to trace out that blue line so that it will show on this on the wrong side because yeah i mean this line this and this so i think i'll trace it out okay so that we can see it on the wrong side very well okay let me do that before we continue the um, imaging so um where is my ruler good you can see that i've traced it out so it's showing on the wrong side now yeah, I mean the blue line. The blue line is now showing on the wrong side. Yeah, so I can now I can go ahead to fold um, the center front like this. This is my center front. I'm gonna fold it along the direction of the arrow and make sure you transfer the dot like I said. So I will just fold the center front like this. Okay, then I'll place it like so. So this automatically fits into the second one. You can see so this is the second cascade so i'll just place it like this i'll use my tracing wheel to trace out um the second cascade like this 
following the blue line okay and then this way good then I'll also trace out the um, waistline on the cascade and the dart also very very important okay I will say something about that later when um, we're done with the tutorial okay so I've traced this out I'm gonna trace out it's my marker now and I'll be using another color of pen which is the blue pen okay so let me just trace out for us to see okay yeah so this is cascade number two that will be under the first one by the time we want to fold and i'm also tracing out my dart like so i just hope we are getting a hang of this okay so this is my dart and i've shown the direction of my green line now we're going to go ahead to the third one um uh, which is the last cascade so um uh, which is very very obvious the red one of, of course this is it we're tracing it out so um the same thing i did with the second one i've used my marker to trace it out on the wrong side yeah here i'll be tracing it out on the wrong side so that by the time we fold it we can see what i folded with so um if you don't do that you can still fold it on the right side i'll just fold the paper like so where the lines meet like this okay then i'm going to dress it out with my um, tracing wheel you know don't forget we are doing all the tracing on another paper so this is it the lines must match okay so i'm just tracing out the waistline do not forget to trace out the darts Okay, so here, so I'm going to do the same thing. I will use my red marker to trace out the third and the last cascade. So let me just say something about this dart. Um, by the time I finished making my own skirt, I discovered that the pleats on the waist was a bit tiny. That's because I used my normal regular um, waist dart. So if you want the pleats to be bigger, like the one in the picture, Instead of using one inch for that intake, you can make it two inches. So that way, by the time I'm creating the plate, the plate is bigger. By the time I'm done with the tutorial, you'll see what I'm saying. So I'm just tracing out my dart on the third one, like so. So we are done creating the cascade. Okay? So now, we're going to move ahead to the next thing. We'll transfer this to our um, paper and then fabric, I mean to say, and then... We we'll start um, sewing. So now, um, that first side is going to be on the side, okay? After joining the skirts at the side seam, this cascade here is going to be on the side, okay? And um, this will be on the side, like I said, and then we'll fold to create a cascade. And then you're going to be cutting this on fold. So you're going to be cutting to one f um, for one side of the skirt, the other one on the other side of the skirt. Now, um, for the pleats, if we decide to, you know, make all the pleats, it will be too bulky when attaching your band. So what we're going to do now is, for the second and third cascades, we're going to be transferring the dart to the lower part, but we're going to be leaving the first um, dart alone, okay? If we are sewing all the three places, it will be too bulky for the band. Now, I'm going to cut out. Like I said, make sure you make a spear front pattern for your um, skirts. Or you could still work with um, the one that we already drew, the casket and everything. It depends on you anyway. So, now I'm going to show us how we're going to be folding it. So, this is my center front. This is the back. And like I said try and make a spear if you get confused along the line with um all the markings we've made on the original pattern so my center front is cut on fold so now this is my casket that i already cut out like i said we are going to be transferring the dart on the second and the third um cascades we're going to transfer the dart 
now this is going to be cut on fold like i said and you'll be attaching this to your side okay to the side please don't forget this is the side seam so it's going to be placed before the seam allowance okay now the arrangement of the casket is going to be like this you place this like so you know um it's before the seam allowance then this is the line of the first fold you fold it okay like that then this is the second line of fold you fold inward and it's going to be like this can you see it's very 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 easy so i was saying that on uh, my own skirt the spacing at the, between the casket and the center front was a bit too wide so you can make your own half inch instead of the one inch that i did okay and then this is the dot i was talking about instead of one inch that intake you can make yours two so that the pleats on the skirt will be more pronounced than mine okay those are some of the um, differences i noticed okay so this is my skirts and this is the cascade now we're going to go ahead to transfer the darts okay i'll first of all fold my the first dart we're not transferring this one this one will be the normal pleats okay then the second and third dart on the other cascades all we're going to do is we are going to cut it out now i'm creating notches i'm creating notches so that I don't want to fold it, it will be easy for us. Now, um, before I continue the notches, let me transfer my darts. Now, I'm going to open up here. I'll cut it up to the dart point like so. Then, I am going to take off the dart here and close it. That way, it's going to open up the hemline. Okay, so... yeah so by the time i close this here the lower part will open so i have just simply transferred my dart to the lower part simple then i'm going to do the same thing on the second casket i told us that we don't want the waistline to be too bulky with so many darts that's why we're closing the dart. okay it doesn't affect the fitting of the of the dress okay so i'm also cutting this out did i say dress skirt i meant to say sorry okay so i'll just you know repeat the same process and close here too now this is how i'm going to be placing the pattern on our fabric like so so you have more fullness on the m line okay you have more fullness but we're going to be leaving this to just fold it to create the pleats okay so this is my first fold let me just use an office pin to hold the dart for now. So, when you cut this on fabric, you add some allowances to everything. Now, um, I'm working with a, a spandex material, sort of, or light scuba, as you call it. And I decided to increase the length of the skirt. The skirt, you know, seemed too short and... The cascades was, was getting too close to the hemline. So I increased the length of the skirt, actually. Now, I've added seam allowance to all um, the fabric, the waistline, and the hemline. But I already added seam allowance to the side seam. If you're working with a stretchy fabric, you don't need to add seam allowance to the side seam. Or probably just half an inch. Okay? So I'm cutting the notch for my darts on the skirts. Like so. okay i had to change my scissors the other one wasn't very sharp then this is my front pattern i'm also creating the notch on the um, for the dart on the fabric so um this is my front pattern i'll go ahead to sew my darts same thing for the back i'll go ahead and sew my dart on both pieces okay so i'll just place it like so after sewing the dart on the two back pieces, then I'll go ahead to sew my side seam on the skirt, which is one inch all the way down, all the way down. So let me do that. Okay, so I have sewn my skirts together. 
um sighting to sightseeing i was on my dad and i have attached one of the caskets to one side of the skirts okay so i'll be using the other side to explain to us how to attach the cascade okay so remember i told us to cut the cascade on fold yes i think i mentioned that earlier on from the very first cascade here okay it has to be cut on fold and i've added my half inch seam allowance this will be cut on fold don't forget yeah unfold then you can see the um added fullness just cut it on fabric like that directly okay so i'll be creating the notches now okay the notch point so that everything is placed well so first i'm going to create a notch for the dart here then where i have the folds here and the blue line too now i was saying something about the pleats initially i said that um, when I finished wearing my skirts, I discovered that the pleat was, you know, a bit small. So, when marking your dart on the waist for the front, instead of one inch for that intake, you can make it two inches. That way, the pleat will be, you know, bigger. So, I'm just taking off my pins and I've pressed the notches. Now, I'm going to notch the center here, okay? So, I want to locate the side seam of my front and back okay of the skirts now this is the side seam on this other side here this is my center front okay i've attached the first cascade but we'll be attaching the second one together this is my center front i'm just marking it down for proper identification okay then this is my side seam from here to here is the back and this is the side seam again so I'll be taking I'm attaching my cascade now. Remember the notch I made at the center? I'll, I'm going to open it up like so. Then I'll just pin it to the side seam. Okay? So whatever I do to the front, I'll be doing it to the back. Okay? Now, let me bring... Um, now, this is the notch for my dart. Here. This is it. So this is what I was saying. You can make yours two inches instead of one. Because the pleats didn't really come out as I wanted. So you just fold it either any direction. So I'm just folding the dart to give me a pleat. If I had made this 2 inches, the pleats would have been more pronounced. So I'm folding it, but it doesn't change anything anyway. It doesn't change anything. The technique is still the same. So I'll just pin this down. Then I'll repeat the same thing towards the back. Look at the darts. Okay, I will also fold it like so and pin it down. You need your pins at this point. Do not assume that you know the right positions. Make sure you use your pins. So I'm just going to pin it down like so. Good. Then we'll go to the next thing. Now I want to locate my first fold, not the dart now, the first fold, the first line of fold okay let me quickly just fold in my darts on the pattern paper because i've already folded the dart on the fabric so it has to rhyme yeah like this okay so now this is the my my first line of fold and i already notched it okay so you just fold in like that then if okay just pin it together like that okay then um the last line of fold already notched it that notching is very important you need to be you know placing your pattern paper up and down so you just fold the second fold you pin it down okay then you place it like this can you see so automatically this should terminate at the center front then i'll repeat the same thing for the back now for the back do not forget that we have um one inch zipper allowance so whatever folding you're folding should end one inch before this um the zip allowance okay same thing i'm going to do the last folding like that if you didn't create the notches you might not be able to get the exact point so this is it okay and then as it is 
it should stop one inch before the uh, end of the fabric this extra one inch is for your zipper okay so um, we're gonna place it like this and that's it okay now um, we also need to cut out the band for the skirts now to cut out the band what you just do is you measure your waist circumference measurements add extra two inches for zipper allowance and then you'll be cutting that on the fabric so this is it this is for one side okay and i've also placed um the cascade on the other side which is the same step now this is the fabric i cut out for my band the width of the band is 2.5 inch on fold it's okay so by the time you finish sewing with half an inch to the waist of the skirt you'll be left with two inches here it is this is 2.5 inches on fold okay so let me just turn the skirt towards the camera yeah this is how it's going to look like then you attach the bun and then you, after that you fix your zipper and that's all so this is the skirt like i said my own spacing was too wide because i did um 1.5 inch you can just make yours one inch is fine and you'll be good same thing for the pleats